Let me tell you why you need a declaration of a desire for a natural death, otherwise known as a living will. We all know that the medical community will make every effort to keep you alive as long as possible, even under the most dire of physical illness and circumstances. Most people do not wish to be kept artificially, artificially alive when there is no chance of survival. One of the most famous cases of a dying person's not being, wishes not being followed was that of Maya Angelou, the famous poet. Her end of life desires for a natural death were not followed. A living will allows you to instruct the medical community to cease all heroic means to keep you alive once there is no more chance of survival and also to protect your family from that drain on your assets and from the bankruptcy of your family. The living will is not for use when you're simply very, very sick. It does mean that when you are terminally ill, that is, there is no hope for living and you're going to die from that illness you have right then. You can no longer communicate your own desires. Then your document speaks for you and tells the medical community, let me die right now. Of course, comfort medication is allowed and appropriate. Otherwise, you tell the medical community that your time is up, it's time to leave you alone. In nearly 40 years of law practice, I have crafted hundreds and hundreds of estate plans, including a living will. My job is to take care of my clients. Call me.